you, you may start to uh, just send them other other useful information after that but it's always a good idea to follow up with them uh, even during the time that they're in the in the autoresponder for the boot camp uh, but that's not necessary you can email them after they've received it because keep in mind they're receiving one email a day from Mike you don't want to overload them with email and, and then uh, have them scared off from you um, okay so let's keep all the rest of this the same and we'll save this message as well oops okay well I've um, I shouldn't have pressed the save changes button I should have uh, pushed save as new uh, so that it creates a new message uh, out of it so it's actually replaced the original message I wrote in there after zero days delay uh, let's just continue from here um, now another feature that is really important you should use is this one here check this message against the spam assassin database after you've completed the message click inside the body and click check this message against the spam assassin database and a new window will pop up all right now um, you're going to see a summary of how your message scores against the spam database that is how likely is your message to end up in somebody's spam box because there are certain keywords certain words that you might use in the body of your um, of your uh, text that may cause it to mark uh, cause some mail clients to mark your message as spam so here we've got a score of 1.4 out of 5 uh, and if your score is over five then you're in trouble your message is full of spam uh, I like to keep mine a lot lower than that so let's see what problems it's complaining about okay so it says from addresses no lowercase characters that's uh, uh, that is not something that you can control right now so don't worry about that the message was not relayed via SMTP is informational okay the body here's where you've got a problem score 1.2 is coming from here the message body has 70 to 80 percent blank lines okay so that is a problem telling you that you have uh, that you have actually uh, too much blank space in there and that is typical of or that it, that it, it is something that could possibly be spam because of that so let's try to take away some of these blank lines I guess because this message is so short as well you have that problem it's usually not an issue um, except that the message is so short so let's take off some of these blank lines and make it a little bit more dense and give it another go ideally you want to keep the score below uh, 0.5 most uh, all of my message actually uh, messages actually um, get a score of 0.2 okay so now we've got it back down to 0.2 uh, there's a very good chance that this message will re reach people's email inboxes okay um, this is this is pretty reasonable let's go ahead and close this and we can now save uh, well, the message has been saved so no no more changes need to be made Let's just save it again sorry to put into effect our new additions okay now what what you're going to have in future is an opt-in form on your own website so that people will opt into your autoresponder first that's when you have your own products or your own your own um, mailing list that you'd like them to to go through uh, however right now people are signing up to the magnetic sponsoring autoresponder so you don't actually get a chance to do that uh, you don't get a chance to put them into your autoresponder directly from that form so there is still a bit of a manual process that needs to uh, occur here unfortunately and uh, let, you will hopefully reach a stage later on where you don't need to do this anymore uh, but the way that we're going to do this manually is that you go to the 
uh, clients menu here and you go to search edit and add and once you've received a boot camp taker uh, you'll want to add them here from this interface so uh, that's been loaded and we want to go to add client so you can write in their name here let's call this person John Watson and we'll give them the email an email address and that will be the email address that you received in your um, in your boot camp information when you received the lead uh, so it might be John Watson at oh, let's, I'll just email it to myself so that we don't bother somebody else who might actually own that address um, and you select the autoresponder that you want them to be on and you can actually choose on which day they should start we're going to start them on day zero though and press add all right now let me show you this actually working um, so that you can see what happens on the on the other end I'm going to add uh, I'll, I'll go back to the autoresponder and modify it so I'll show you how to do editing um, I want to modify it so that uh, so that we have a um, so that we have the first message being sent out on uh, the day zero so I'll click manage autoresponders because now I want to edit an autoresponder that is already existing okay I'll actually write a whole new message for that one um, and you'll find all your autoresponders listed here number of messages in series the unique clients um, in there you can get a list of all the clients uh, what we want to do is add a message so we can just click add message or we can go into there and look at the list or just add a message instead okay so we're creating a brand new message we're going to start it on day zero because remember the the only one that's in there is actually on the tenth day I'll show you Internet Explorer is extremely slow for me you see you've got your 10 days delay message you'll have the entire list of any messages you've got in there as well uh, because we've only got one that's there's only one to show there subject line let's call that welcome aboard the 10 day boot camp let's create that one again all right let's go ahead and save this as a new message and we'll add a new client as well add a client and I'll put one of my other addresses in there we'll send this one to Morris sponsoring start on day zero and you can actually add more information as well over here so you might have some on uh, offline prospects that you'd like to um, put into your autoresponder and you got their details you can add them from there um, and let's add this new address on there 